and today I would like to talk about the difference between голубой and синий. Do you know the difference? Have you asked that question before? So, let's have a look. So, on the left-hand side picture, you can see голубой. Голубой. And on the right-hand side picture, you can see синий. 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 So, can you notice the difference? Left-hand side picture and right-hand side picture. Is there a difference in color? Basically, синий and голубой are different shades of blue and are seen as distinct basic colors in Russian. I would like to talk in more details about usage of синий and голубой. Синий is a dark blue shade such as navy or indigo. For example, you could use the word синий to describe the color of the sea. Синие море. Синие море. The blue sea. Russians use the word синий to describe the color of the skin. I did not include any realistic pictures to represent the word синий in a skin color, as mostly those are medical conditions which can look unpleasant to some people. For example, синие лицо, синие лицо, blue face. If you go outside and it's cold, like minus temperature, minus 15, or you were in a cold water for a long period of time, so your lips become blue color. So, синие губы, синие губы, синие губы. People also use the word синие to describe a dead person. Because of the skin color of a dead person, which turns purple, so in Russian you would say синий. Russians also use the word синий to describe people who have alcohol addiction. This is due to the color of the nose people have. In the beginning it becomes red and then gets closer to the purple color. People also use the word синюшный to describe blue purple tone of the skin, it is considered to be very unhealthy. Usually you describe medical skin condition and the color синюшный is used to describe, for example, bruises. You would say синюшный цвет кожи. Now let's move on to the next word, голубой. Голубой is a light shade of blue. You would describe the sky as голубое небо, голубое небо, the blue sky. The term blue noise is widely used in audio engineering. In Russian it will be голубой шум, голубой шум. Also Russians call TV set as голубой экран. As you can see, the analog TV screen was slightly blue, especially when you turn it on and it stays blue for a while till it receives the signal. So, therefore, the name. The phrase is still used nowadays, even though TV sets are very outdated. The next phrase is Globaya Michta. Globaya Michta means a secret dream, a dream that one can never realize. This phrase is potentially originated from France or Germany. French use light blue color to describe something unreal, imaginative. Everyone would have own blue dream, Golubaya Michta. For example, to buy an expensive car or a big house or fly to the moon. The same as in many other languages, Russians refer to aristocracy, Golubaya Krov. Golubaya Krov. And one of the last examples I would like to give you today of the word голубой. Голубой means gay in Russian. Он голубой. That would mean that he is gay. Today we talked a lot about differences between голубой and синий. Learn several examples and I hope that this information will be useful to anyone who studies Russian. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe.